Right, going on a tinny trip down the Murray. Here is everything you need to know. So, if you're going to do the whole thing, you're talking three, four weeks, over 2,000 Ks. If you say if you've got a week off work, then there's four sections to choose from. Here are the four different sections. Now, I'm also going to put all this information up on my website. Give me a week or two, tinnyrally.com.au. Four sections. The the very upper Murray, which is the white water and the dams, so Bringanong Bridge to Yarrawonga, um, dependent on water flow, beautiful section. A bit harder to camp as farmland and private property gets close to the riverbank. Bit of a stuff round also because you've got to get around the dam wall and the weir at the Hume and Yarrawonga. So that's section one. Section two, I consider the, the normal Upper Murray, the, which is where we're talking Yarrawonga to Mildura. Nice windy section, iconic Australian bushland, much easier to find campsites, a lot of public land, uh, water reserves next to the river, sensational. Little to bit dependent on water flow, um, so you need to check the Murray Darling Basin Authority website for how much water's in there. Next section down, section three, Mildura to Manum. This is the what I consider the lower Murray, the iconic red cliffs of the Murray that you see in all the photos. Also sensational camping, like heaps of uh, heaps of public land to camp, easy to find camping. Very much a lot wider this section, but still very beautiful due to the cliffs and so forth. Uh, Easy to get down enough water all year round. So Yarrawonga, all the way down to Gool, you've got locks to cross all the weirs. So you can get your boat down without taking it out of the water. Uh, the section three, section four is what I consider the flat section and the to, all the way to the mouth. So so Murray Bridge, Tail and Bend to Gool. Uh, a bit more boring scenically, I think. It's quite flat. It's more wind affected. There's a lot less places to camp because the private property comes a lot closer to the riverbank. Um, so it's probably my, my least favourite of the sections. What else do you need to know going down the Murray? Uh, your longest section without fuels, 220Ks, Euston to Mildura. You've also got 180Ks from Wentworth to the border at Customs House. Um, a lot of these towns are regional towns. They're small, especially when you get out uh, Swan Reach Way. You're talking a long way between um, large towns. Uh, yeah, but it, but you've got places stopping to have beer at the pub, stopping to have lunch at the pub. Depending on the section, if you time it right, you can be, almost be having lunch at the pub each day. Um, you may have to walk a little bit to get into town, um, but yeah, sensational trip, iconic, amazing. If you're interested in doing it with 20 or so other legends, we're doing some tinny rallies down the Murray. All the information on tinnyrally.com.au. Get your mates together, or if they don't want to come, come along on your own and find some new mates. Jump on the website. Let's go.